Hello everybody, this is Chronicles 018, and I figured I'd go on ahead and get this one out. Uh, just as a warning, this is the only video that I have not uploaded for the Naruto series. That I have recorded, you know. I've only got up to episode 25 recorded. But I hope to get some of that done, maybe tomorrow. Because, like I've said today, I'm just uploading today. So, uh, everybody essentially is trying to get the answers through cheating because that's essentially the point of the test is how to gather information without getting caught. And everybody's getting the information that they need through various means. Byakugan for Neji and Hinata. Sharingan for Sasuke. Just being smart like Sakura. Uh, you know, using various means. Sadly, Naruto has no means to gather information like that without making it obvious to everybody in the room. So, yeah. Naruto is just sitting there freaking out about how he's going to fail and that everybody is going to... Essentially, Sakura and, Nar and Sasuke are going to kill him. Anyway, uh, yeah, it gets the final... It gets the... Like, the last 15 minutes and they get to the last question. He doesn't show the last question, but he t essentially tells them that if they decide to opt out of the final question, they can, you know, try, they'll obviously fail, and they'll try, they could try again next year. But, if they opt for the question, and then they, you know, then get the wrong answer, then not only will they fail, but they will never get to take the chest again. And a few of the teams end up leaving because of this. None of the main teams, of course. And not, uh, Sakura essentially is telling, is mentally telling Naruto, go ahead, raise your hand, it'll be fine. Because she knows that this dream of his is everything to Naruto, and if he can't rise up through the ranks and become Hokage someday, it'll kill him, essentially. It'll kill his dream. So she essentially is telling him, go on ahead, it's okay, we're not going to be mad. Well, she'll probably be annoyed, but she'll be, she'll understand. And Naruto looks like he's about to raise his hand, but instead he gives a speech about how he's never giving up and that he's not going to let this get to him, and he'll be Okage someday and all that stuff, and everybody, after that speech, nobody else raised their hands, in which we actually find out there was no final question. That was essentially the, fi that was the final question. And they did that because essentially if you... Essentially, they had their reasons. I don't remember exactly what the reason is, to my knowledge. I know there's a reason, I just don't remember it off the top of my head. But if someone could put it in the comment section to, you know, remind me, because that'd be great. Uh, he essentially tells them that if you make bad calls, and... Essentially, don't think about the consequences of anything before doing it, then it could cost you, and he shows them... Why he has that thing covering his head. It's got all kinds of scars and injuries and stuff because of that. And that's essentially the result of making bad calls. Or things just not going right. Anyway, uh, they explain the whole point of, you know, the first part, that first part of the exam to everybody. And right before he's about to dismiss everybody, someone comes banging through the window... I find out it's the next prompter for the exams, and she's kind of early. We find out her name is Anko, and that they have to apparently meet at the Forest of Death the next day. And yeah, it's not a very ominous name. So yeah, essentially that was the whole point of the exams. Or that was the whole point of this episode, was to finish up that first part of the exams. And... <sighs> oh, God, I'm tired. Anyway, that was the main stuff that happened in this episode. I'm sorry I didn't get this out sooner, but I've just been focusing on the other shows. I haven't done any recordings for Naruto in a good long while. But I'll try and get some done tomorrow. In addition to, you know, doing Snow White with the red hair and Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Especially the second one, because I'm going to show that show to my fiancé and I'm sure he's going to get hooked on it. 
And knowing him, if I spend time with him and show him that show, we're going to be watching multiple episodes of it. So I want to get as many episodes through as possible before I do that. That way I don't get myself spoiled. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. And yeah, I'll try and get some more Naruto done tomorrow. I can't make any promises though because when I get hooked on a show, I will binge it. So yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.